what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome to fix this house today I'm gonna be showing you how to easily remove your old sidings and replace it with new sidings that's pretty much as simple as that and right now we are removing the front face of my garage we're taking out the old sidings and we're gonna be replacing it because there's a lot of water damage and there's so many gaps in there there's so many bugs and stuff are living between those walls and I just want to replace it brand new all right guys stay tuned As you can see here guys I started ripping out all the wood out here all the front the wood is all down there the thing that I'm removing in now is these two by fours so it's really hard to pry this off in one piece so what I'm using tool that I'm be using and it comes in really handy is this cobalt mini saw and it is awesome I mean it gets it cuts off areas that are really hard to reach so i advise you guys if you guys are doing rip out and you want to rip off something that's really in a tight space try getting this tool and i'll show you in a little bit and i'll leave the link down below where you can get this tool cuts like butter so the reason why i need to cut that off is so that i can get this inside sidings out so we can replace it with the brand new ones right there i'll just start stripping out the old sidings we're going to replace that with some osb we're going to replace the siding right here all the way down there so i got half of the sidings off the old sidings i took out the ventilation out there and you can kind of see why i'm taking this off the past owner put these boards up and they left a bunch of gaps that gives it an opportunity for bugs and beehives I found a bunch of hornets nests all around this area so yeah if you leave gaps you'll definitely start seeing bugs working making homes I am saving the template for the face so that when I cut the boards I don't have to remeasure anything So total carnage out here it's like a tornado just passed by and wrecked my house but we got all the sidings off well except for that side so here's another reason why I'm replacing this siding is because if you look under here all this got water damage so if you guys look right here this is actually the old sidings it is made out of harder backer so it is uh, lifelong siding but it just doesn't groove man it just looks ugly the previous owner put this beam or this two by six right across there with all those gaps which when the water goes down it goes trickles right behind this thing so that is why i am removing this because this is what's underneath that hardy backer siding and yeah as you can already tell the water seeps down and that's what happened water damage all over there you can see where it's peeling slowly taking out this right here so if you look right here the past owner who did it they used felt as the vapor barrier i mean it's fine but it doesn't hold up strong enough and it just deteriorates over time So check it out guys, I got the first layer off, I'm going to be used, so this is what I'll be using, again you can, I'll leave the link down below where you can buy this saw, very nice, very handy, I love this thing, 
and you can use it to cut off all those all those nails right there do some clean up here before I close it up this is the edge of the gable and you can clearly see all the water damage from top to bottom that's why this has to go oh boy this is not good not good so take a look at this we just looked at, we just tore off the layer and look at all that water damage if you look right here if I squeeze it you can still see a lot you can squeeze out the water see how wet that is that stud needs to get changed out before we even put the sidings so if you guys encounter any rotten uh, studs or wood make sure you replace it before you close it up this one has to get replaced for sure. It is rotted 100%. Water damaged all the way. Still wet. I'm gonna use my reciprocating saw and cut this off. And let's replace it. Yeah, that's bad. So there you have it. We replaced it with a new stud. I'm gonna replace the, the inside one later on when I do this wall, but there you go. Make sure that you replace anything that's rotting. And that stud was 100% bad. So the nailer I'm using is the Metabo. I love this thing. I'll leave the link down below where you can get it. So now what I'm doing is I lay down the OSB. And I'm gonna use my template here. Accidentally buried it with all the clutter. But I'm gonna use that template, put it on top, trace it out, and tack it on that wall. So there you have it guys. I laid out the template, traced it. Took me three piece, three sheets. Took me three sheets of OSB board. Using is the nailer, the Metabo nailer with exterior nails. And, and I'll be using a Craftsman Pancake Air Air Tank. So guys, after everything is done, so we got the inside layer all done with OSB. You can tell that both are perfectly even on each side now we're gonna put the final siding board the face so that's what it looks like pretty simple what I installed here is vapor a vapor barrier so I installed this to prevent moisture and condensation from going inside what I did to tack this down was use a staple gun all around. Also stay tuned on my next upcoming video. I'm going to be putting the vent on the middle portion of that so that you can have further ven ventilations on the attic. So stay tuned for that install video. So guys, that pretty much concludes this video. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Again, that took um, a lot of work, but I know with your guys' patience and hard work, you can definitely do this at home. Um, you don't have to spend so much money to hire somebody to do it. 
uh, it all just takes with the proper tools again with the tools that I use check out the link down below in the description I will leave all the tools that I've used on this project okay guys so if you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful please hit that like button down below and please press that subscribe button down below um, so you can always be in tuned of what's up coming up with my projects around my house and also please press that like button so they can further support my channel and thank you so much you guys for tuning in um, again if you have any questions I'll write it down on the comment section below and I'll try to get and answer all your questions regarding this sightings project thank you guys see you on the next video